Dear viewers, welcome to Nursat Satellite Station in Tel Elmir TV. On the occasion of His Majesty King Abdullah's 61st birthday, Dr. Basim al the Regional Director of Nursat TV in the Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine, and the team extend their warmest congratulations to His Majesty, wishing him long years of full goodness and blessing in his leadership of the Jordanian March, praying to God that Jordan remains a model of peace, harmony, national unity, and coexistence. Let us start with the headlines. Pope Francis appoints Archbishop Giovanni Pietro as Papal Nuncio to Jordan. Jordanians celebrate the 61st birthday of His Majesty King Abdullah II. We also have the Greek, Coptic, Syriac, and Armenian Orthodox churches in Jordan mark the annual pilgrimage to the baptism. Welcome back. The Apostolic Nunciator in Amman announced that His Holiness Pope Francis has appointed Archbishop Giovanni Pietro as the new Papal Nuncio in Jordan. This is the first time that a residential Papal Nuncio has been appointed. This indicates the positive development in diplomatic relations between the Holy See and the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. The new Apostolic Nuncio has completed his undergraduate and postgraduate studies in philosophy and theology, was ordained a priest in 1989. He held many positions the last of which is Secretary General of the Pontifical Council, Secretary General of the Congregation of the Evangelization of People, Archbishop and President of the Pontifical Apostolic Societies, and he's fluent in five international languages. The Jordanian family celebrates these days the 61st birthday of His Majesty King Abdullah II, and at the birth of His Majesty on the 13th of January in 1962, the late King Hussein bin Talal congratulated the Jordanian family on the arrival of his son, Prince Abdullah and His Majesty King Abdullah II was called King of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan after the death of his father, His Majesty King Al-Hussein, on the 7th of February in 1999, to assume the fourth covenant of the kingdom. His Majesty King Abdullah II, since assuming his constitutional powers, has made great efforts to preserve the Arabism of Jerusalem, its Arab identity and its Islamic and Christian sanctities, and to support and stabilize its Muslim and Christian inhabitants. And His Majesty's continuous meetings with many clerks and Islamic and Christian leaders carry a clear confirmation of his support for the steadfastness of the churches of the Holy Land. The Orthodox churches in Jordan celebrated the 23rd annual Christian pilgrimage to the site of the baptism of Christ, and the celebration including the holding of a divine mass presided over by His Excellency Bishop Christophorus Atallah, Greek Orthodox Bishop of Jordan, in the presence of a number of priests, deacons, and a large crowd of believers. In an atmosphere of faith filled with joy, the Coptic Orthodox Church on the eastern and western banks of Jordan River celebrated the Christian Pilgrimage Day at the site of the Baptism of Christ, where the prayer on the eastern side of the Jordan River was presided over by Father Anthony Subhi, priest of the Coptic parish in Jordan, on the western side Bishop Anthony, Bishop of Jerusalem and the Near East, with the participation of deacons and sons of the Coptic Church in Jordan and Palestine. In his spiritual speech, Father Antonius thanked His Majesty King Abdullah II for his love and recommendations to take care of the holy site of the baptism. He also thanked His Highness Prince Ghazi bin Muhammad, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Baptism, for his efforts with the site authority in preserving the sanctities of the place, and also thanked the Jordan Security Services for their efforts in maintaining the security and comfort of pilgrims. In a joyful spiritual atmosphere, His Beatitude the Syriac Orthodox Patriarch Ignatius Ephraim II presided over the ritual of blessing the waters on the bank of the Jordan River at the site of the Baptism of Christ, with the participation of Father Benjamin Shamoun, pastor of St. Ephraim Syriac Orthodox Church in Amman, a group of bishops and deacons, and a group of sons of the Syriac Orthodox Church in the kingdom. In his speech, Father Benjamin congratulated all Christians around the world, thanked His Majesty King Abdullah II for his patronage of the baptism site, and Prince Ghazi bin Muhammad for his interest in sponsoring this blessed place. On the other hand, the Armenian Orthodox Church in Jordan and Palestine at the site of the baptism of Jesus Christ celebrated the Feast of the Divine Apparition and the Christian Pilgrimage in a Divine Mass, presided over by Archmandrite Avidis Ebergian, pastor of the Church, with the participation of a number of members of the Armenian Council in Jordan and a number of servants, apostles, and peoples of the presence of some official figures. Many Armenians in Jordan and Palestine participated in the pilgrimage visit to the Holy Place. They held traditional ceremonies on the bank of the Jordan River at the site of the baptism of Jesus Christ, as usual on these days of the year. The delegation of the coordination of bishops for the Holy Land concluded their visit to the kingdom. 
The visit, which lasted several days, included the Latin Patriarchal Vicariate in Jordan, the Apostolic Embassy, the Caritas Jordan Association, the Latin Patriarchate Schools, and the Our Lady of Peace Center for Persons with Disabilities. They also visited the parishes of Ajlun, Fuhais, and Jbeha during their visit to the kingdom. The delegation of the bishops met with a number of diplomatic missions operating in the kingdom. The topic of the meetings focused on Christians in Jordan and their important role in Jordanian society. At the end of the visit, the delegation expressed their appreciation for the respect for human dignity in Jordan and the appreciation of Jordanian Christians for the blessing of security and stability available in this country. The Conference of Catholic Bishops in the Holy Land decided during its last meeting in the city of Larnaca, Cyprus, to appoint Dr. Nabil Musa Khurman, Director General of Saada Schools in Amman, as Secretary General of the Christian Educational Institutions in Jordan for the next five years. Nursat Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine, represented by the regional director of the channel, Dr. Basim Samhan and the team, extend their warmest heartfelt congratulations, wishing him more progress to serve the mission of education in Jordan. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Pope Francis appoints Archbishop Giovanni Pietro as Papal Nuncio to Jordan. Jordanians celebrate the 61st birthday of His Majesty King Abdullah II. The Greek, Coptic, Syriac, and Armenian Orthodox churches in Jordan mark the annual pilgrimage to the baptism. For more information, please visit our website, nursatjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.